we can see that um, the Azimio pair are most popular in how many zones? Coast is one, Lower Eastern is two, Nairobi is three, Nyanza is four, and Western is five out of the nine uh, zones that we have. Whereas the Deputy President is most popular in Central Rift one, Mount Kenya two, Northern three, South Rift four. So five to four is how these zones are divided. But recall that the number of registered voters in each of these zones is very, very different. Um, so you can't predict, even if the election were held tomorrow, just on the basis of the distribution of support by zone, you have to look at the total figures. Um, we also, given the, um, how can I say, uh, the major uh, innovation or uh, breakthrough of having such a, uh, a female candidate for such a, um, a senior position, the second most powerful in government, um, we wanted to look and see if there was any particular distribution of support when we analyze our results by gender and also by age. Now, if some of I think in the last election, we had one or more presidential candidates who did have uh, women running mates. Um, I can't remember if there were one or two or maybe even three. There were several. But um, these people got less than half a percent of the vote. So nowhere near um, what Kenyan voters are presented with now. That is having a woman who is um, in a very competitive position to actually become the next deputy president, um, at least on the basis of what our survey results are showing uh, now. So we see that um, in gender terms, about 8% more men at the moment express support or voting intentions for uh, Mr. Odinga and Ms. Karua than women. But that's not really because there's so many more women who are supporting the other main pair of candidates, but rather that among the undecided and among those who didn't give us an answer, there were so many more, more women. 19 versus 9, women versus men who were undecided, and 10 versus 5 who didn't answer the question. Whether in the coming days, weeks, what is it, 83 days left now before the election, the simple biological fact that the Azimio running mate is a woman will bring more women voters over to that uh, pair of candidates remains to be seen. We saw all the celebrations at KICC um, by women and also um, through live feeds from uh, Kirinyaga and some other parts of the country, I believe, um, celebrating uh, that aspect of Honorable Karua's identity beyond the others that she have had. Uh, we also know that um, the deputy president was also giving very, very serious consideration to two um, women elected office holders, uh, both Governor Ann Waiguru in Kirinyaga and I believe Alice Wahome um, in, in, in Maranga. I forget her constituency just for the moment. But uh, ultimately, neither one of those was selected. Maybe it would have been a more exciting uh, campaign period at least from the gender perspective, if each of those presidential candidates had a woman as a running mate, but that's not to be. In terms of age, we see that older people are slightly more inclined as of now to support the Rua ticket, 43% versus 35, whereas the deputy president's support is equal across these two age groupings at 35% each. We see that younger voters are slightly more numerous in terms of being undecided, 17% versus 11. Um, but that's really the only uh, difference. Whether we will see an equal level of voter turnout among the different age groupings is another issue. When we looked at the trend slide over the last 23 months, again, now for uh, 
the presidential contest. And remember, this is the first result in which we've had the presidential candidates firmly identified with a running mate, since the deadline, as I said, for handing in those names was Monday at midnight. And we see, for the first time, uh, the former prime minister taking the lead. Whether this is because of his selection of a running mate, because remember, 90% of his supporters were aware that Honorable Karua had been given that, uh, had succeeded in that selection process, or whether his numbers would have gone up anyway for other reasons, um, we can't say. We also should note that over the last 23 uh, months, the deputy president's figures have remained within this very narrow band of between 35 and 39 percent. He's just where he was, I can see, in December of 2020. Um, no lower. But even now that the presidential candidates have announced their running mates, we still thought it's useful to give you this trend for comparison. And to be more precise, since our last survey just three weeks ago, to look at the changes in support expressed voting intentions by uh, the different parts of the country, we can see that Rilo Dinga has gained in Central Rift by 9% just in three weeks. He's gained at the coast 13%. He's gained a little bit in Lower Eastern. He's gained a little bit in Mount Kenya. He's gained a bit more in Nairobi, 9%. No change up north. He's gained 13% in his home Nyanza zone or area. And he's gained 12% in Western, only in the South Rift, which includes Kajiado, uh, sorry, and, and Narak counties, um, has his level of support gone down, which helps to explain his overall um, increase from our last survey of 7% under the total at the far left. For the deputy president, as we said, overall, he's had a drop of 4%. And when you look at the distribution of the change over just the last three weeks, you can see where that arithmetic um, uh, comes from. He's dropped 11% in Central Rift, his home area, a little bit in Lower Eastern, 5%. He's dropped on the mountain a little bit, 7%. In Nairobi, 6%. He's gone up in the northern uh, counties, which is all of Northeastern, and then Marsabit, uh, Turkana, um, by 9%. He's gone down by 10% in Nyanza. He's also gone up in the South Rift by a very hefty 26%, and basically unchanged in Western, considering the margin of error of about 3%. Whether, again, when, um, in addition to regular campaign activities, the identity of his, let me just go back to this slide, when he, the identity of his running mate, Honorable Gashagwa, becomes more known in the country above this 59% as of yesterday, that will boost the deputy president's overall standing. Again, we'll have to wait and see, even if there'll be other campaign activities and events that will take place that makes it very difficult in a survey to identify the impact of any particular factor. So that brings us to the end of the presentation. I would just a couple of quick points in conclusion. And first I'll go back to this slide.